Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the return of Coach Ted Lasso. So this is the second CNBC um, short film that they made about uh, getting the rights for Premier League football. And I think this is the one that pretty much convinced Apple to, you know, commission the show and make a show. So uh, this must be funny. I'm hoping it's as funny as the first one that I reacted to like a couple of weeks ago. It was hilarious. So yeah, let's do it. Well, today should be an absolute cracker of a game, Ted. Absolutely. We've got two teams here who are desperate for three points to avoid relegation. What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to the definition of relegation. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to parlay my coaching career into some on-camera work. I was doing some, uh, you know, some football punditry with Rebecca Lowe. <laughs> punditry. <laughs> and I had the pleasure of working alongside Arlo White and that golden, velvety, yummy voice of his. Whoever's got the most points at the end of the season, they're the champions. The bottom three teams, as you know, are relegated. Wait a minute, say champions again. Champions. I mean, that guy sounds like El McPherson farting into Miles Davis's trumpet. Let's um, well, talk a little you. bit about your time in London, in North I London at Tottenham. How long exactly were you there? About six and a half hours. <laughs> and I don't know how that translates to uh, British time. In and out. No, I made some rookie broadcast mistakes, as anyone's going to do in that situation. Hey, welcome, welcome to welcome the Premier to League right here. <laughs> Ted Lasso coming at you right at home. I'm sorry, you're, you should start, not me. Go ahead. Let, let, let's do it again. Let's start over, yeah? Oh, Ted, we're actually, we're actually live right now. This is Ted, Ted Lasso, the Oh, it's live? Talk. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? I thought that's in live. Some of the words. You know, I thought that's in live. <laughs> no, I got confused. I mean, that's tough. I mean, but if they're going to be relegated, you have to allow for that to be the regular relegation. You don't know what relegated means, do you? I don't. I do, I'm still confused of if it's regulated or relegated. I'd have to see it written because I'm a visual <laughs> learner. My regulated. brief time with NBC Sports was a whole lot of fun, though. I'm Arlo White. This is... I'm uh, LeVar Burton from Lamar. Star Trek. And I got to say, from my point of view, I think they really like me. Now, if I was a Fulham fan, what I would encourage them to do, go out to the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Hide. You <laughs> wait for the referee to come out there, get into his little car, and you follow him home. So you tweet his address, and you let the good people of Fulham take matters in their own hands. Obviously, don't go and do that, please. Hey, you do whatever you like. We, we can't condone anything of the sort. No, we can't. Live! Live! <laughs> it's live! And we're clear on the floor. All right. Hey, that was fun. You're a Yeah. Hi, she knew my nickname. You miss England quite a bit. Oh, yeah, wanker. I miss it, I miss it dearly. If you would have told me I would have been drinking tea at 3 o'clock every day about a year ago, I would have punched you in the mouth. A lot of <laughs> cities in America have places like Chinatown or Little Italy, so I went ahead and made my home, my apartment, <laughs> teeny tiny England. Cock on a ball. And they just, I mean, they put it on everything. My philosophy, you know, keep calm and get fired up. It's an actual dead parrot. And I brought a little something special home with me. Uh, Why does he have a dead parrot? Uh, and that's my mini Bradley Cooper. Mini? Bradley Cooper. Other side coach. Oh, right. I mean, it's a mini Cooper, but I named him Bradley. It's a zippy little bugger. Uh, I do have occasional run-ins with the law as I'm attempting to climatize myself back into uh, driving in the States. <laughs> no, you you want to come over here, officer. How do you that's keep the call. Premier League in your life? Do you watch the games? Oh, absolutely. I found a great place to watch games. I found a local pub here in town that shows all the EPL games. And it's kind of like my home away from home. Hey, everybody! <laughs> ah, that's full of Arsenal fans. Get in, boys. i tell you one thing that's become a little difficult for me is uh, how early these games start because of the time difference. So that means early drinking, and early drinking means quick drunken. You know, I, I, you know, I try not to drink, right? But, I mean, they're just so darn friendly. I mean, they, they took me and Coach under their wings. <laughs> we were like brothers by the end of it, just, just big old sloshed-up brothers. Cheers. And you know who I saw last time I was there? You look really familiar, you know that? Oh, that's, uh, God, Tim, Tim Bradley, I think? No, it's not Tim Bradley. Tim Howard, Tim Howard. Do I? Yeah, who do people tell you you look like? Tim Howard. <laughs> no, no, you know who you look like? You look like the, uh, the goalkeeper for Everton. Timmy Howard. <laughs> Offside. I mean, do you get it? I get it. You do get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I literally have a better understanding of who killed Kennedy than I do <laughs> what is offside. Mm. Yeah. It was the mob. <laughs> At the end of the day, there's still so much I need to learn about soccer, I mean football, but you know what, coach has got a coach. Hey, you guys, come on! Do you know what I recently learned? Apparently the word soccer was created by the British. I mean, what? I, I would have thought, yeah, 100% a 
came from America. Pick it up. You're, play, you're playing like a bunch of little boys out here. Huh? Is that what you want to be, little boys? No, sir. I am the proud coach of the St. Catharines Fighting Owls. Who? The Fighting Owls. <laughs> you guys know what relegation is? Yes, sir. Oh, you do? Okay. Having coached now in the Premier League, I bring a Premier League level of standards. You know, things like the art of flopping. <laughs> Stay down, wait till the ref sees it, and now you're up. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Nice job, nice job. <laughs> Celebrations after goals. Oh, coach bomb. <laughs> Tea time. Going into eighth grade, okay, so a lot of big changes coming. <laughs> to your crumpets. Up here, you know, like going in. In my mind, you gotta have three things to be a Premier League team. One, you gotta play physical. Two, you gotta give 100% until the final whistle. And three, you gotta be sponsored by a Middle Eastern airline. <laughs> Congratulations, because you are now sponsored by Dubai Jet. That is Dubai's first <laughs> discount airline. Yeah, give it up. Give it up for Dubai Jet. If we win, that's a good thing. But if we lose, the fault is not in their stars. The fault is where? In our stars! That's right, that's good. Coach, I'll tell you right now, yeah. they look at least as good as Spurs did. Oh, these guys, these guys are just <laughs> as capable of, of, of winning games as the Spurs, yeah. Do you think there's as any the chance that you'll be back in the premiership? I have a knowingness inside me that I'll get to coach over there again someday. And, you know, I hope it happens within my lifetime. Hold on one second here. Well, how about that? I just got asked to be the head coach at Leicester. <laughs> Leicester. The Premier League begins again August 16th, only on N. <laughs> Man, yeah, whoever wrote that stroke of genius, because not only, like, for a commercial, it's got, like, 10 million views which is insane for a, for a commercial but it, it created the whole ted lasso show so whoever at nbc decided to uh, to do that for their marketing campaign deserves a massive bonus or at least a pat on the back thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one